This is Mr. Anderson for Kellogg Community College. In the second of four videos here uh, that I'm going to do for Chapter 3, Section 3, uh, we're going to be looking at finding theta for each of these problems. Uh, we're going to start off with our problem number 9. And um, yeah, it's, it's true. You can find uh, the square root of 3 on the unit circle. But one thing to note is that in this problem, the omega is not 1 the omega is one half. What this is going to do, it's going to require us to take a look at our um, unit circle to see when is the tangent equal to the square root of three. Now you can actually see that that's the case at, um, at pi over three. Now what's interesting about that is it happens again pi units later. Um, from the previous video, I have at times, like in problems I think four and five, written out the half pi is equal to where this happens on the unit circle. And since pi, that since tangent r repeats every pi units, um, you see that, that this happens at pi over 3 and then again at 4 pi over 3, but I'm not going to write that down again because they would just kind of overlap on each other. But I need to, to finish solving for theta, is I need to um, get the theta by itself, and I'm going to do that by multiplying everything by 2. In multiplying everything by 2, I now have theta is equal to 2 pi over 3 plus, uh, in this case, oh, uh, 2k pi. Since I've slowed, since I'm actually, since my omega has slowed the graph down, it's going to take me twice as long to get through a complete cycle, so my cycle is doubled to 2k pi. Now, what this allows me to do is just look on the unit circle and say, okay, um, uh, one of my answers is 2 pi over 3 instead of my original answer of pi over 3. But since I'm going to repeat this every 2 pi cycles, um, I'm actually done writing my answer because I'm only interested in these problems between 0 and 2 pi. So once I get over 2 pi, because uh, the next time that this would actually happen according to this equation would be, um, let's see, 8, thir 8 pi 3, and that's beyond the 2 pi um, uh, answer. So uh, this, is, uh, this is where I'm at. Uh, in problem 10, um, I'm going to do the same thing because here I have omega being 2, so I'm going to write my 2 theta is equal to wherever negative 1 is on the unit circle for tangent and that's going to happen at 3 pi over 4. It would also happen at, um, you know, because uh, if you're thinking about how, like, this is 3 pi over 4, if you add another uh, 4 pi over 4 to this, this would happen again at 7 pi over 4. But since uh, tangent repeats every pi cycles, um, we don't need to write the 7 pi over 4 scenario because we would normally just overlap on that. Now, since we're doubling our speed here, um, what we need to do is we need to divide everything by 2. And in doing so, now we have theta. 3 pi over 4 divided by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. So we got 3 pi over 8. This is going to be when that happens, plus uh, k pi over 2. Which means that I have to look now at a situation where um, I might uh, get more than one answer around one revolution, you know, before I get to the end of one revolution around the circle. So three, three pi over eight is one answer, and then this is going to happen again at another half pi um, rotation around the circle. So to get a common denominator here, I'm going to use eight. So really, this is going to be instead of k pi over two, it's going to be four k pi over two, which gives me um, seven pi over eight. So I've, since this is 4 pi over 2 instead of just, um, or 4k pi over 2 instead of just pi over 2, um, let me see if I add another 4 to this. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11, and 11 pi over 8 is still not to 2 pi yet, because that would be 16 pi over 8. And then I'm going to add another 4 to this, uh, and that gives me 15 pi over 8, and I'm at the end of my answer set because going another... Uh, pi over 2 units would send me beyond our um, boundary of 2 pi right there. So that actually gives me my four answers to this problem. Normally I'd have two, but since um, I'm 
I, I have uh, doubled my speed, I'm going to actually get um, two more instances uh, as when I go around that circle. Okay, now I'm going to look at cotangent, and boy, I've really uh, played around here with uh, my uh, my uh, omega. My omega is going to be two thirds um, alpha, and or sorry, theta is equal to five pi over six. Now I can see that um, on the unit circle, and again, because cotangent and tangent have k pi, I don't need to worry about anything else. Um, besides, if you you know five pi over six. Um, this would also happen 11 pi over 6, but thank you, uh, cycle of k, k pi. I don't need to worry about the 11 pi over 6. So now I've got to get theta all by itself, so I'm going to multiply everything by 3 halves. So in multiplying everything by 3 halves, I'm going to just kind of do that with a 3 halves on the outside, so I'm going to do a little distributive property there. Uh, this is going to be 15 over 12, but 15 pi over 12 can be reduced to... 5 pi over 4 plus, uh, in this case, 3k pi over 2. Now, I'm going to start off my answer set with the answer of 5 pi over 4, and now I'm going to look at 3k pi over 2 and add that onto the 5 pi over 4. So um, I'm going to get common denominators here, so this would be 6 over 4. So if I go 6 and 5, 6 and 5 make 11 pi over 4, but 11 pi over 4 is greater than 2 pi. So there's my answer set right there. So that um, kind of ends our messing with, um, uh, messing with our omega, uh, because the rest of the problems on this worksheet here um, do not have a funky omega. The omega is going to be 1. And that brings us back to some of the easier problems. Subtracting 1 from both sides, the cosine of theta is equal to negative 1, that only happens once on the unit circle, so this brings me an answer of pi. Now, I want to say before I move this down that um, I have been kind of skipping a step in isolating theta. You know, if I really want to find what theta is, I would take the inverse cosine of that. But since uh, these are all on the unit circle, I would be just writing these down to get, a second, to get the answers for the problem. So let's go to problems 13 through 15 to wrap up this uh, video. Okay, so problem 13, what I'm going to do is subtract 1 from both sides. So the square root of 3 cotangent theta cotangent, is equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by square root of 3. I've got cotangent of theta is equal to negative 1 over square roots of 3. Um, multiply top and bottom by square root of 3 over 3 to rationalize the denominator and the numerator becomes negative square roots of 3, the denominator becomes the square root of 9, which is 3. So square root of 3 over 3, this is the um, solution set by looking at the unit circle here, at 2 pi over 3, and 1 pi revolution later, 5 pi over 3 as well. I didn't need to actually use the general formula, since I have the unit circle in front of me, I can just kind of look and see. And you'll be creating one from scratch before you take your test. Problem number 14, we're going to add 3 to both sides. So we have 5 cosecant theta is equal to 5. Divide both sides by 5. And we have cosecant of theta is equal to 1. To find theta, we'll go theta is equal to the, the inverse of cosecant of 1. But you can also look at the unit circle and see that that is at the spot of pi over 2. In problem number 15, we're going to subtract the 3 square root of 3 from both sides. And what's a common mistake in this situation is not these simplifying, but is to think when I have 1 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 3, now I've got negative 2 square root of 3, and this is equal to 4 sine of theta. Divide both sides by 4. Sine of theta is equal to, now I'm going to simplify this, uh, this is negative square root of 3 over 2, because this is simplifiable to 1 half. So now I look at my unit circle, and I see that that happens at 4 pi over 3, and it happens at 5 pi over 3, and it doesn't happen again until I take another spin around the circle, but since we're looking between 0 and 2 pi, um, these are our two answers for when this is the case for uh, theta. Theta is equal to the inverse sine of this, and that would give us these two spots on the unit circle. All right, well, that ends our second part of our four-part video. Thank you for watching.